Hello everyone, I hope you find yourself having a great day. I'm starting up a new series on setting up and administering a uh, very thorough and complete Linux based server and in the next uh, several editions to this series uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time doing some in-depth configuring uh, of various services for example email services firewalls and things of that nature but in part one of the series which this is we're going to uh, let me start by prefacing a few things of how I've got what I've got installed at this point I have a basic 32-bit version of Linux Lite installed now I've opted to go with a 32-bit version for simplicity's sake and uh, another reason is that I'm running this on a older uh, dual-core uh, processor machine that uh, supports two gigs of, of memory and uh, everything I'm going to illustrate in all the uh, future series uh, will likewise be supported on 64-bit versions uh, but um, for simplicity's sake my intention is that uh, this would be something that most people can install on an old machine that they've got and uh, run just fine and be a very powerful and server server environment and for part one what we're going to do today is what we have before us is a basic installation of Linux Lite it's version 12.04 which is uh, Ubuntu based and uh, offers long-term uh, support as well as its interface is very simple and lightweight so it's going to be very resource um, light it's not going to require much uh, memory to uh, boot up and be ready to use so for this example in this first part of the series we're going to install on a fresh installation of Linux Apache which is going to act as our web server we're going to install MySQL which is going to provide us with the ability to store and create and manage data and PHP which is going to provide us with a very powerful backend to add a lot of functionality um, to web, web page uh, interaction and data connectivity to our MySQL database so let's get started alright so we're setting before us a fresh installation of Linux straight out of the box all the links for any commands that I use will be in the description below we're going to start by launching a terminal and I've got some steps these will be in the description below first we're going to install Apache which will act as our web server we're going to begin by copying and pasting the sudo apt-get install Apache 2 command into our terminal just select it right click and copy and then right click and paste in our terminal and hit enter on your keyboard you'll provide your password for your account it will ask you to verify continue type Y for yes and hit enter at this point it's going to download and install Apache for your web server all these steps are relatively simple and uh, execute rather quickly okay so Apache is installed now we're going to move to our next series here and we're going to install the MySQL database server so we're going to copy this first command select it right click copy and then right click paste in our terminal and hit enter enter yes to continue installation Type Y, press enter. It's going to download the MySQL and after that it will do the installation. Installation, like I said earlier, goes relatively quick. Now it's a download that takes a little bit of additional time here. Okay, we're going to provide our password that we're going to use to connect to MySQL. This would be a password that all future connections use. Now 
after a little bit of configuring is done through the terminal. What we're going to do next is copy a, another one to install the MySQL database. Once the initial installation has completed. And we're just about there. So we're going to copy this next, which is sudo mysql underscore install underscore db. Right click copy. Right click paste in your terminal. Hit enter. And there's that. We've installed the uh, database for mysql. Now we're going to install and secure the uh, MySQL installation. We're going to remove some functionality to uh, limit some basic administrative connectivity to the local host. Copy and paste into your terminal. Provide your root password. This is a password that you entered on the previous step. We're going to ask it, does it want us to change our root password? We're going to change it to a password that we'd like to use from now on. It could be the same or different. Remove anonymous users. Yes, we're going to remove those. And we're going to disallow, disallow login uh, remotely so that you can only access your uh, MySQL administration functions from your local host. And we're going to reload the privilege tables so that all of our permissions are current. So that's complete. Now we're going to download and install my or PHP. Copy the command. Select it. Right click. Copy and then right click paste in your terminal hit enter enter yes to download and install it's about a 17 meg download so now we're downloading PHP this will go pretty quick depending on your speed of your connection you'll see some um, default output in your terminal and we're just about complete here. And then we'll take a look here by the following command to look at the uh, directive that can be pasted in HT access files to allow directory browsing or to restrict directory browsing. And so that was successfully installed and we're looking at uh, piece of a directive that could be put in an HT access file. So I'm going to fire up my browser now and then we're going to go to localhost and see if we successfully installed Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And you'll go to your localhost by typing HTTP colon slash slash localhost and our web server is up, running, and functional. So this will conclude part one. Stay tuned for part two where we're going to add a little bit of more uh, administrative functionality and uh, hopefully simplify life inside Linux server environment. Remember, all these commands will be in the description below and you'll execute these on a fresh installation of Linux in the order that they appear.